Hey, hope you've been keeping well. I'm excited to share with you an opportunity for you to get to study in Canada at a place called Montreal through a university scholarship that is being offered uh, called the McCall McBain Scholarship at McGill University. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. I hope I, I said it right. However, the McGill University is providing fully funded master's programs professional degrees as well for international students as well as Canadian students and US citizens. The application is open now for the next year's intake and they have about 30 full scholarships for Canadian students, US citizens as well as us international students. So please listen in to the end of this video. You just never know you could be one of the 30 students who win the full scholarships and definitely uh, what what they are providing and what they are covering is your tuition fees a living stipend you will get a living stipend of about two thousand canadian dollars per month within the academic period for your course you'll also get to have all your relocation expenses covered that will of course ca caters for your travel ticket for anyone living outside canada and the master's programs you can apply for within this scholarship is the master's uh, master's in arts architecture teaching and learning business administration public policy engineering information studies we also have management uh, i've said public policy already they are also going to allow anyone who's studying physical therapy to apply applied occupational therapy as well as social work together with urban planning uh, llm that is law as well as sacred theology now, for anyone who's looking at a second entry professional undergraduate within law, within dentistry and medicine, you can also get to apply here. The eligibility criteria will consider you if you're within one of the following um, setups. Number one, you'll have to be able to get your undergraduate degree by next year, August, or you, you have actually earned a first bachelor's degree in the last five years i believe or uh, they are looking at january 2018 or later then you've also earned your degree more than five years ago and you are 30 years or younger within this year when you're applying and of course the criteria is also going to be considered for the mccall mcbain scholarship program but i'll, I'll actually share the links here on the description box so you can go on and look up and see if you're actually eligible of course we will now once you apply for the scholarship you go on to apply at mcgill university for admission and if you're actually eligible for this program then you definitely uh, be eligible to apply for the scholarship now what of the english language proficiency what is required of you the proficiency the proof of proficiency is actually not required if your first language is english or you have actually obtained your undergraduate degree from canada or the united states or if you have actually lived and attended or been employed for at least four consecutive years in a country where english is an acknowledged primary language or you have actually obtained an undergraduate or a graduate degree from a recognized foreign institution where English is the language of instruction. That one you'd need to check at a place called the World uh, Education Database and uh, you'll be able to see that. I'll send, I'll share a link. You just need to look up on that link. You'll see on the right side there's a search bar. Enter your country on that search bar. Let's say for example you're from Kenya or even Pakistan enter your country and then you'll see the university now if the university is there that they allow you to get an exemption and you don't need the IELTS or TOEFL for McGill good for you and that will give you a go ahead to apply and uh, be exempted from the language proficiency requirement now the deadlines will be as follows for Canadian and United States citizens that would be within September this year for all international students that would be within August this year be keen to submit in good time in fact I would advise that as early as you get to watch this video you go on to submit the scholarship because you also don't want to 
submit it in a rush or you don't want to submit it too late and the best thing is always to be the first among the first students to submit your application thank you so much for listening in to the end uh, i always say feel free to share this video with as many people as can be i know most of us out here are looking for scholarships especially that are providing uh the fully funded coverage so feel free to share with your networks and thank you for sticking to the end bye for now